just as everyone demanded a look at this scientific sensation, her bones vanished. The hobbit skeleton turned up in the laboratory of a certain professor. You could refer to it as stealing. It's certainly borrowing without the permission of either any of the discovery team who were involved in finding it. I'm not talking about the Australians. I'm talking about the Indonesians who were involved in it. It was quite sickening, actually quite sickening. And uh, I know there was extreme disappointment uh, other members of the research team. Yeah. The man accused is Indonesia's authority on Homo erectus, the appointed keeper of one third of the world's erectus fossils. When he heard about the hobbit, he was intrigued to see for himself whether she really was part of that family. Well, they accused me of stealing and then uh, kidnapping, illegal and uh, unethical. Professor Toiku Jakob argues that he had permission from someone on the team. I don't know where they pick up the ideas just from there, not censored by the higher functions of the brain, I think. <laughs> A lot of etiquette has been cast aside in Professor Jakob's greedy acquisition of the bones, really for his own purposes. Usually the language of science is more sophisticated than this. <laughs>